Hi, everybody. Today we want to show how to transform these three times four matrix that you see on the screen right now into a row echelon matrix using the only three operations that we are allowed to use. Let's start from the end for once. As we said, we want to transform the previous matrix into a row echelon matrix. Little spoiler alert, the final result will be this matrix. This is a row echelon matrix. If you don't remember the definition, don't worry, because in the description below, you will find the link to the video with a complete description of row echelon matrices. Well, from this picture, you can easily see that we have our stair step. In every corner, we have the number one here in blue. Below the stair step, we only have zeros. And we don't really need to know what happens above the stair step. In order to transform our matrix into a row echelon matrix, we are only allowed to use the following three operations. We can interchange two rows. We can multiply a row by a scalar different from zero. And finally, we can sum up one row with a multiple of another row. In this example, all the three operations will be used. So everything will be clear. The reason why we are allowed to use only these three operations goes back to the link between matrices and linear systems. You will find the link of the video explaining all this in the description below. Let's go right into the action. As for the first step, we immediately see that we have a zero, but we would like to have one here in the first corner. However, just below, we have the number one. So the best to do in this case is to interchange row one with row two. And this is what we are going to do. As you can see, we wrote R2 double arrow R1. So we go on. And what we are doing is exactly this. We put row one in position two and row two in position one. So at the end, what we have done is to interchange row one and row two without touching row three. Now the second step. We first start with the matrix that we obtained in step one. So as you can see, we already have a small stair step here, at least in row one and row two. We would like to continue the stair step until the third row. This is what we are going to do. In order to obtain this, we would like to eliminate the number two that you can see here below. And to delete it, what we are planning to do is row three minus twice row one. So let's do it step by step. First, we need to do two minus two times one, which is of course equal to zero, it's what we wanted. Then we have minus four minus two times minus one, which is equal to minus two. Then we have zero minus two times six, which is equal to minus 12. Finally, we have minus six minus two times minus one, which is equal to minus four. And here, the final result. As you can see, below the first corner, we only have zeros, while below the second corner, we have the element minus two, which we would like to eliminate. We are going to do this in the third step. So we start from the previous matrix that we just obtained, and we now do the following operation row three plus two times row two. This will eliminate the element minus two that you can see here. Then let's work step by step. First, we do zero plus two times zero is of course equal to zero. Then the element that we would like to eliminate, that is minus two plus two times one, which is equal to zero. Then we go on with the other elements of the two rows, minus 12 plus two times minus two, which is equal to minus 16. And finally, minus four plus two times two, which is equal to zero. And now let me show you the final result. Where we almost reached our result, we have our step step, but here in the corner, we don't have the element one. 
So in the next step, we will work on this. Like before, we start with the last matrix that we obtained, and we work on the last row. In order to transform minus 16 into the element one, the only thing that we can do in this case is to divide the third row by minus 16. And this is what we do. So of course, zero will remain zero, zero will remain zero. We reach our element minus 16, which divided by minus 16 gives us our element one. And the last element is again zero divided by minus 16, which is equal to zero. And here the final result. This is great because we finally obtained our stair step. So we obtained our row echelon matrix where every corner is equal to one. In conclusion, here we are with the matrix that we promised. This is our row echelon matrix. Now be very careful because it is not unique. You could choose different operations in a different order and you would obtain a different row echelon matrix. If you want a unique row echelon matrix, then you need to work a bit more in order to obtain a reduced row echelon matrix. This is the object of the so-called Gauss-Jordan method or Gauss-Jordan elimination and will be discussed in the next video. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, of course. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video. Bye.